here with MCSC Green Wheels, and you may know my car as KSD Notch. somehow then I'm, I'm good with it it's just about figuring out where to connect it but if it's back here I'm good with it clutches the Audi yeah. and this thing because you literally have to tear apart the whole car. Yeah. The whole front end, tire, whole side has to come off. So, it's, so you got anything. 17 and a half hours later. You got anything we can lay over here because we got to pull this hood off. Yep. Oh, 
short. Lose the one over there. I was gonna say that. Solid to me. Hey, Ken. You was questioning doing this, but this was the best idea you had. It was. Thanks, man. I'll try. This, this was. Man. Well, you know what? It was a little positive for me. Seeing your reaction. Which is why I brought those zip ties. Um, I gotta find the, the screw to screw these fuel lines up, and I need to move these up like this. But I need to find a, a, a screw just to put up there to, to do that, and then we'll move yeah, these. Yeah, it's gonna be just a starter. Cool. Hey, look. What I'm gonna make a good. Drop them in the box for me. Uh, so we brought this together. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it is, <laughs> hey, it is a, a lot difference between air and electric. My lord. <laughs> I don't have no air, bro. All my all my um, impacts are electric. So this <laughs> this air is amazing. Yeah, that's the that's the new one snap on put on. Oh out. my god. Yeah, it moves pretty pretty fast. Man, you know what dude? For being chrome, they're super light because they're alloys. Yeah man. That thing's fuck it's fucking nice. Super nice. Alright. There you go. Oh, I have a socket for that, dude. Oh man, I'm pretty sure you did. You know, I'm used to uh, hood uh, mechanics, so. Oh, <laughs> I'm driving halfway, like. 
Oh, are they in there? We're out of boats, man. Dude, my dad used to make us work with, uh, he said, take off this engine. Here's a rubber bang, two screwdrivers, and a piece of gum. <laughs> Gotta work it. Work it. How high do you want me to go? You at least want to get a finger in there. We gotta get something in there, that's true. There's nothing right now. Look, you can see where it even rubs. It gets the fender all right. Why are you worried, bro? You were, you know, what's another couple chin spoilers in the car? <laughs> You might as well put a, put an order now. Since, hey, hey put know, a, since we're making it rain on, you know, on the bill, you know, let's keep it hot. Where it presses here against this, uh -huh. so that's where it's grounded at. Right. So if this isn't grounded well, that's where you get right. your so, non-starting so I got So where, where do you suggest us putting this ground at? You can put the ground, you can start but it you, right there. So you see he had it but here. But it, it does not go to the starter. Go Why don't straight you, uh, to something else. Why don't you get go a straight to the ground. I already got, I already got a, uh, I got a cable right now. Right. It goes straight to yeah. a, another ground. Spot. So, so check it out. This. Should work theoretically, but what you might want to do is just make another one. I got some. If, if you ever hear, cool. yeah, if you ever hear when, when Sal lifts my car, I have a, a I have double zero. Oh, we don't, you don't need to be that. Right. Let me show you what I got. Yeah, that that will that, do. That'll do. I just know that's not the best. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a nice spool, so I can spool here. That one right here. But that's oh, a, okay. That's a mobile piece. And then I have a black one here. This coming down to here or? No, no, no. That's this going is up. this is this is going up to there. This I haven't touched. This I just loosened and dropped an inch and a half. Right, just to compare. But, but the don't rest. this have to come down to where this is at to get to that point? Mm -hmm. That'll lower it. Way off. Carries, I think I'm gonna have to let you down, man. I think I, uh, I think I loaned it out. I got a big ass spool. That's why. Of all the the uh, zero cable. I mean, auto zone right there. Yeah, I was just saying. I, I can go over there. We can go over there. We get. We get. We get. Yeah. yeah, they got a real nice one, bro. That's like uh, that's like zero. It's like like two gauge, but it's like this big. It's like this fat, and it's really short. So we'll walk over and pick it up. Here, man. Know anything you need, man? Let me know. Yeah. I'm okay. Thank you. No, I still got the top yeah. screw in. I'm just trying to get this out of here. That hot this doesn't need to be. Okay. We need a connector. Let's, let's go. Well, that, well that's not, we, it that's not to, right. It okay. doesn't need to be. We, we hot wired Yeah, this. it doesn't okay. need to be on the uh, starter at all. Yeah, we hot wired this. That's all positive. That's all hot wired. So, so we can start the car, which we're going to have to do again today. I doubt if he's going to run anything. Oh, that starter? Missing. Yeah, I got it. Should be right at the last. Can you pull it out? Yeah. I never really do, but <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this one right here. There, you know, the underneath it's really good too.
hand cramps already. Right. That's how I was when I did the other one on the floor. Dude, you could you have, I would have been I could have got this done in ten minutes. member is mm -hmm. well the K member wouldn't do that. K member ain't gonna uh, give you no help there. It's loose. It's just that uh, it's so loose. That's why I see it. Yeah I know. I got hand cramps already. That's the reason I can't do it. <laughs> you all the way to the last yeah. half it's got the most turn. Weight. My hand started. <laughs> My hand has got like a red spot from the coil of the wrench. I can hit the monkey paw. Uh, let me see. I'm I mean, it's right here, bro. Like, if you want to try that, yeah, it's literally okay. halfway out. I'm going to scratch it up. Mm -hmm. You see the, the immaculate tape job I did? Yeah, man. It's amazing. It's like six rolls. <laughs> like, seriously, man. I went straight to I'm surprised the... you ain't pinstriping right now. <laughs> I feel like after this, I can do this at home. Like, man, I you can, like... Able to, you, should be, you should be able to put down them crazy graphics. For just... real. <laughs> <laughs> I got to adjust this bump it up. Just leave it you got it? Yeah. Let's go You're back fine, up. Man. There's iced tea in the fridge, by the way. Man, I'm good, good now. We know, we, we know... In that water. All right, let's go back up. Mm -hmm. Now, see, that's the type of stuff that dude had a, a, a 250 bike with something with a passenger. See, you, you just want to die. You got 400 pounds of weight with a 20 horsepower motor. Yeah, that's how it's gotta go, just like that. I mean, dog. Thank you so much. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what is sweet about this though? When I do go long tubes, it really won't be that bad. No, it won't be that bad. They, man, they they made this number. job seem like it was the hardest thing ever, man. With your K member, yeah, K member in the car. Too. Cause you know, it's all, the only example I have is O3 Cobra. And we got to get rid of these gas. Yeah, 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 I got the, I got the other one. Uh, it's, it's, it's an easy scrape, bro. Okay. I, I did the other side. It's, hey, man, we just scrape it real quick. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we need a gas strainer. See, he just slid a blade in here. I'm look, I'm fancy now. It is. Yeah. Another thing we got to do before you actually drive this, we can even do this right now. All right, well, go ahead. What, in case I don't run the soy bar? Like, in case you forgot or something? Uh, well. The table is rubbing on the tire now. Yeah, please. George told me the same thing too. He said, "Man, get the Ford racing one." So I went to Ford and Piatone to get it. They tried to sell me a Harley Davidson F one hundred and fifty, brand new. I was like, "Dude, uh, you gonna see that one outside?" 
He said, yeah, that's why I offered it to you. I was like, yeah, but I like owning my stuff. He was like, oh, well, you know, after a few payments, you can own this one too. I'm like, nah, I'm straight, bro. <laughs> Good looking out, though. A hundred grand. So you went there to back. See there? See, the fact that we never ran this car for a long time. Mm -hmm. This right here. Think about it, that thing would have, like, really got on there. You know? Yeah, you would have been scraping a lot longer than that 10 minutes. If you right, right. It would be uh, much harder to mine. Dude, where have I been all this time that I ain't have, well, you know, want to know why I don't have one of these lights on my head? Because I've never had a car this hot that I've ever worked, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I can see clearly now the rain. That's Filet's favorite song, man. He sings that song faithfully, bro. That's good song. Oh, listen, you don't got the hood on, right? Right. We took the hood off. Too. Well, we was trying to take the hood off for a different reason. That actually we didn't need. Hey, you want to double check that? Make sure. Yeah, it matched. I already I did all the research, bro. Like I literally, yeah, that's that's the one for that side. Here's the true right, test fillet. This is what we should be looking at. This is right. Same rotors. Yeah. Yeah, this is there. Yes, they had it. We're going to go ahead and measure that real quick. Yes, sir. All right. Because. See if I can get something in here real quick. No. Uh, I just want to make sure, bro. Mm, okay. The caliper sits. So when I put the rotor in and everything, now there's supposedly it's a 93 rear end, 8.8. .8. When I put everything on, just like you see here, the caliper ends up like this. And this is with the caliper completely on the rotor. Yeah. Okay. When I change it and I put the stock plate, the fat one, the caliper ends up like this. Just on that one side? On both. It's on both sides. I can't fit the brakes on his uh, 93 and his GT. Every side, you can find any kind of ground strap, like a battery strap. Oh, you, did you, just get, you mean just get the, uh, the, the negative uh, yeah. battery? Uh, yeah, cable. or you can get a braided cable if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, the, the, the negative cable. Another thing, if you do it, you might have to. He's gonna have to. That high pressure line, 
degree to extend it. Can you get away with just the regular clamp, or does it have to be a press extension? This just has to go up on the other side of the This one has to be extended. And that and that big one is the high pressure. Well, yeah, obviously the pressure. Sean, can you uh, yeah, what's, what's this? But, this, that is, but the, 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 the problem is, it's just a thermostat. Why no. all the other thermostats? You ain't got no freaking car cheap. And this one's 60. Do you understand what I'm saying, yeah. dude? No. Dude, it's a lot. Yes. So lower that and then lower that. Okay. We'll see what's it called down. It's definitely a company. Did I just also get one part? No, no. The, the company is Reach, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. That little distance right here, that's what they call backlash. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna measure that little distance. It has to be at 0 .004. So we're gonna use our meter and then we're gonna put a little paw print to see what it looks like. We'll paint down there and see what it does. Damn near perfect backlash. Ah, awesome. <laughs> so we're just happy. Basically, what we want to look, we want to look for that number, for that number that we get as far as the specification that is given to us by OEM. Um, so each one of these is point zero thousands, you know what I mean, of an inch. And so you just gotta have to look where it's set. Some cars are all different, like you saw us having a problem with Tim's. The consistency of just having to keep measuring because we changed up all the gears and re shimming. So, this guy's it wasn't that bad because we just took most of the original stuff out and replaced it with so uh, just put it right back in because all we did was really sent out the, the casing to get our power decoder. So, just making sure that everything's up to spec. As so you saw, I torqued down the ring gear bolts and I finally gave it its final torquing to the. Uh, to the pinion uh, back here. 
So we're now perfect. We can button this bad boy up and get it for the road. It's just the color, it's just the paint. And what this does, this, this paint, when, uh, when, the, when the back pinion rolls, it's gonna mark each one of these and show you how, how the contact of it is. There's different variations. You should have it like right in the center, you'll see in the middle. Um, if it's too far back or it, it's bad, if it's too far over, or if it's too far this way against this way, you, you know, that's a bad print. You have to keep, that's why we use the shims. Cause the shims, We'll, we'll move, we'll move the, 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 the carrier casing in more if we need it, or bring it back out if, if it's too tight. So, we're going to get right now. See the contact on it. See how it contacted? It's right, right where it should go. Right on top. See how the print's in here? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. All the way through there, all the way through there, all the way through there. It has a really nice pattern, so we're good, bro. This bad boy's ready to roll. All right, let's. Uh, we're gonna sand this down a little bit and get the cover on there. something I gotta do first. So they were rubbing it around over there at Tyler's place and they marred this guy up so we changed these ring gear and pin him out. So I'm gonna clean this up right here because it binds up in there. Sure, it slides in and out nice and smooth as it should. No binding, all right. Perfect on this side.
perfect. Yes, sir. Ken, these things are gross. <laughs> I'm going to take it off. I'm not even going to.